Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you the static keyword. So the static keyword essentially allows you to actually very, if I just, you know, show you. So you can apply the static keyword to method and to variable. So I'm just going to do it to this variable right here. So I'll put the keyword static. That's how you create some, make something static. You put static before the variable or before the method. And now if we were to run it, we get errors. So it says set or not found for this and etc etc. So what is going on is the way you access a static variable is not by doing c1 dot max speed. You just get the name of the class, which is called dot max speed. And if I do call here. And it's underscore max speed, sorry. And car underscore max speed. Now if we run it, we are still getting an error saying. Okay, we're getting an error with this getter and setter. Now we can delete these getters and setters temporarily. Uh, What is going on? Let's get rid of the keyword abstract temporarily. Ah, I'll see what's happening. We can get rid of that. And yeah, it has to be for the particular class, so we can't inherit static methods. So if I was to just, you know, grab that and actually just put it in here instead like so and run it as you can see it prints out 60 initially because that's what it's initially set to and then we are overwriting it to 10 and then we are doing printing out and we get 10 but watch what happens if i do you know if i create another car for example car c2 equals new car printing this out afterwards you'll have no actual change because the max b because it's static there's ever only one instance of that method or that variable that property for that particular class it doesn't matter how many objects you have of that class a static variable method is only one of it so if you you know want to group something but you want to just have one you know like variable in memory static is the way to go and that's really it for static if you have any questions though feel free to pop me a message as an extra task i want you to try and make a function static the process is exactly the same calling it is the same just put car dot method name open close bracket semicolon you can pass in parameters as well simple stuff really if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video